Morning, young fella. Morning. I don't think I recorded any of this last year. I don't think so. Yeah. The driveway last year and uh, front entrance. And that's where we left off because the development company who's also building the houses had to use this for access. We poured a little pad here too. Oh yeah. Now they have a ginormous hot tub sitting on it. She ain't ever gonna move. She ain't ever gonna move. Well, let's get in the back and we'll show you what we're up to. A little bit of washout. I wonder where that's from. Maybe that downspout, perhaps. Look at this freaking gargantuan hot tub here. This thing's easily like four, four and a half feet minimum. Sitting yeah, on a pad we poured like last year. Four, yeah. yeah. That's a monster of a hot tub, you know? Yeah. It's a good, uh, good thing to have instead of a pool. Because this you can use all year long. We don't get Florida climate here. No. We don't get pool use all year long. I get a good three, four months max out of my pool, depending yeah. on the season, every yeah. year. Which Northern sucks. Canada, that's got a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically we're doing a deck. I guess I don't need a whole pallet now, eh? Yeah. And we're basically setting that right on the footings that those are sitting in. Hopefully there's one over there, too. Whew, it's hot! Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go grab all the other, uh, all the other stuff that we need. Yeah. Grinder, cutting wheel, uh, tape, Caution chunk of wood, wood. yeah, and uh, there's something else. Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, that's right, because we're going to have to mix cement here. Yeah. Oh well. All in, the, all in the day's work. It's too bad we're uh, not on the other side of the, the house where it's shady. Cause that, is, that is strong. But Where's you know the what? other uh, footing going after Foot. that one? There's going to be a third one in line with this. Yeah. Yeah. And what was the exact measurement you did when you got over there? Just so I 20 feet. To the outside. From here. 20 feet. But you want to be uh, maybe about this far in on that, uh, on that side. So go 23 inches from here. 20, 20 foot, 3 inches. On that one, yeah. Yeah, for the one you're digging out now. Yeah. yeah. On center, right? No, on oh, the no, edge okay. of it. Okay. So right on the three. yeah, twenty foot three inches right to this side of that of that uh, thing. Don't even worry about the center because this is we're doing this deck just like we did at uh, uh, Batagalias. Okay. Yeah. So. Sounds good. That's why I need the grinding wheel because we're gonna have to uh, shoot grades off the existing footings we did last year and make sure these are the same height. Yeah. Which is why they're way low over there. Someone's gonna be doing a little bit of sod there, and there's no way around it. Yeah. It ain't gonna be us because we don't do salt. No, no, no. We are tired from that. Yeah. We're tired. Yep. No, I've done sod once in the last like three, four years. Yep. And that was only for Scott. Yep. One time. No more sod. You want something? I'll give you some seed. Oh, Have fun. Yeah, dude. And it turns out great if you wait while and you take care. It, of it does, cause remember, buddy, That's last year in the Pinewood area? area, he was doubting it. He I'm sent me pictures. Dark. He sent me pictures. He's like, it looks oh, awesome. Thing worked great. Oh, yeah. It works. Yeah, he's pretty narrow here though, dude. Oh, that thing's definitely easy. The post hole digger. Yeah. Well, it works. I'm just saying it's he's, faster to get started with this he, thing. He, than he, I don't know, man. He dug that one out in the time that you and I dug that one. Oh. I can use this. It's just, I Ooh, get this. Uh, it sounded like a rock. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. You're in the gravel. Yeah. Or something. I already tried. I tried that first. Yeah. You probably got to go close to the corner of the house with that one too. Yeah. Exactly. To have a straight line. Anyways, I'm gonna go grab that crap so I can get back here and give you guys a hand. Yeah. See you in a bit. Boom. One footing, two footing, three footing, four, five, <laughs> not five, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Footings are all in. All nice and nice and squared up. Next step, mixing up a buttload of concrete around a whole pallet-ish, but yeah.
Not too bad. Half a day, three dudes. Bunch of hand digging up there. But yeah. We've seen the new boots. New boot goofing. Alrighty, we'll uh, report back after lunch. Adios. All right, so first things first, gotta fill in this lovely giant uh, sinkhole here. Yeah. Get that all filled in and then I can go across. We gotta fill up uh, eight uh, footings for our deck that we're building. These are four that we did last year and obviously a pad that we did. Their kids actually put their little signatures in there. It's kind of cute. Yeah, we poured that uh, last fall when we did the one in Manitou. It's professional. You can't see it though because there's a giant hot tub on it, but yeah. Did a good job on it. Again, 6 inch pad, 18 inch 10M. Rebar mat in there. Look at that nice edging job. Almost like it was professional. A little broom finish. Beautiful. Built to withstand about... Uh, I mean, this thing weighs like eight to 10,000 pounds, man. Oh, with the water in it? Hell yeah. That's a lot of water. A lot of water. Anyways, better patter. I gotta go steal some dirt from those Canalax boys. Fill in our lovely sinkhole. Let's get her done.
So we got our, uh, our sauna tombs all uh, filled up. They actually have a massive concrete footing down there that their uh, that their uh, sauna tube footings are sitting on. So these two are sitting on it, and that one actually, believe it or not, is lower than the footing of the house. The one in the corner there. Footings aren't very deep here. How deep do you think those footings are from finished grade, Mark? Well, Three and a half? Not even, I don't think. Not even, eh? Yeah. I know that our footing's deeper than it. Not by much. Yeah. But a little bit, because we're pretty close to the footing and you can't undermine the footing of the house. That would be a big, big no-no. So I think we're maybe three inches deeper, but yeah, that's gonna do. Yeah, now we're uh, we're mixing uh, cement. Got all of our footing, footings in place. Wrapping and rolling. We're all gonna be set at this height. That's what that little piece is for. Let's actually bring that one up to its height because where it's sitting right now is four feet below finished grade because we're not redoing their whole lawn for them. Uh -uh. No, no, thank you. So yeah, pitter patter. Same with this one. It's got a little piece set up to height. This one too, a little piece set up to height because our other ones are only four feet. So that way we're hitting our four foot for the frost line. Not that we get any inspections for this type of deck because we're not attached to structure. So anybody asks the question, why did you not just attach to this? Well, I did that. I'm gonna need drawings, engineered stamped drawings, a permit, etc. This way, because we're not attached to structure, I don't need any of that. <coughs> yeah. Oh, check out Johnny's uh, safety apparatus here. We have to take the stairs down. Awesome. There's this buried electric line up there. Yeah, don't go digging up there. Don't go digging up there. It's, it's a lot of electrical line up there. Mason cement. This, want to start with this one and work our way out? We're going to go to the here. Well, that one. Then maybe we'll do this one and then, yeah, work our way on over. Cool. It don't matter as long as we start with these two. That's for sure. Oh, 7%. That sucks. Eight bags left. They're going back. I already have enough at my shop. I don't need more sitting there. So send them back. Send them back. All right. So all the concrete's poured. We already set the saddles for uh, for these ones. And there, there, and there, and then that one. Uh, we'll show you on this one how we do that. Basically, what we do. Someone bent the crap out of this. They folded down. I think they ran it over the guys that are working here with their loader, the development guys. But whatever bent it back it'll be fine so we do this a lot differently than you do a deck like this with posts coming up so basically with these ones your beams are actually sitting right in the saddle running across that way you can be as low to the ground as possible while still getting airflow under there and not having any wood touching the ground this hot tub is loud anyways so what John and I are gonna do because our deck is 20 by 20 we're gonna get these uh, saddles set coming off this way and you can watch us and see how we do it. And then uh, after we're done, I'll, I'll explain to you what's what and why we do what and how we do what. And what's what? What? What's what, where, when. What, huh, where? what? I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me All right, so we got our saddles all set. Like I said, this is done differently, which is why we have all our footings at the exact same height, give or take a millimeter or two, because um, our beams are literally sitting in here. There's no post coming up. Our beams run right across. 
20 feet by 20 feet um yeah so our beams run right across then with our crossers here we actually attach hangers on each side and then put our crossers on those would be spaced out 16 inch on center give or take a millimeter or two because ain't nothing perfect in this world so yeah that's uh that's that and the reason you see a different height here is because this is just over four feet tall and we need to get uh, uh four feet for our frost protection this saw was not supposed to be here and done because obviously uh now we're gonna have it's gonna be close man like we're gonna be pretty close to a two foot drop down and any more than two feet uh according to ontario building code obc you actually need to have a guardrail there in place but as you can see on that side and then it's gonna be a two by ten it's gonna be like probably two three inches lower lower than two feet which is uh what we want we don't want a guardrail but someone was impatient and pushed the builder to put the saw in check the irrigation's even in for, geez yeah lovely yeah so anyways You'll have to stick with us and we'll show you how that's done. So these are wet set saddles. They have a pin uh, manufactured by Simpson. Uh, the same uh, place we got our, uh, our ICF uh, uh, bracing so you can put a ledger board on the ICF. Uh, um, and then obviously if you do ICF all the way up to the trusses then you have uh, Simpson also makes those pieces that go in wet set. Yeah, so that's that. That's why we did these four last year, because there's no way you'd be able to do it now, not without undermining this pad. And you know, with the 8,000 uh, pound hot tub on there, that ain't gonna work out too well. Ain't gonna work out too well. So that's how we do this. And again, like I, said, I think I mentioned this before, the reason why we have our own footings here is because if I decide to attach to this, this is attached to structure, which means I'd be attaching the structure. I need a permit. I need drawings, engineered drawings to be able to get the permit. And yeah, let's avoid that altogether. So again, beams running across, across, oh, excuse me. And then two more over here. running across right here and running across right there the reason we try to get right close to the edge on there is because you're, you're gonna see that that beam right you don't want to see too much of that uh, the sauna tube there so but I mean you ain't gonna be able to get them perfect but the best way to hide that is just put a little tiny narrow garden in here just with a few tall grasses right in front of these sauna tubes and maybe a couple in between there and one in there and one on the edge and you're golden So, that's how that's done. I mean, I would have loved to do all of this in one pour, you know, fill all the sauna tubes up, but we weren't allowed to do this last year because uh, the developers, which is also the builder of these houses, um, had to gain access back here to topsoil everything and install saw because they even do that like they, they do all of that and i don't want anything to do with sod ever again seed it or nothing basically is is what, I, what i'm doing I'm not a fan of sod done enough in that in my lifetime the last a uh, couple lifetimes anyways this is the end of our day Mark's going to be back there shortly with a, a cup of tea and uh, some coffee. Dusty roots. And yeah, we're going to lock all the equipment down, put it to bed, get all our tools into the pickup. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Look what I found on my tire. Oh, just yeah, freaking. It's actually a screw. I wonder how long it's been in there. Oh, I hope I don't have to get uh, get my tire guy here. Put a plug in that freaking thing. 
Yeah, oh joy. Lovely. Stupid screw. Just when you think you're out. Just pull you back in. Oh, it's flat too. That's been in there a while. I'm gonna need my little uh, my little vice grits. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave it in there until I get back to the shop. I think that's been in there for a while. It has. It's flat. It's flat. I'll leave it in there until I get back to the shop, just in case something does happen. Because we need this machine in the morning. I think. I don't remember. We got probably. We'll have to move it anyway. We need to move it. All right. Well. I'm screwed. <laughs> no pun intended. Are you leaving this puppy here? Yeah, we're gonna park it where we had the cement sitting oh, there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this little video here. We got all the footings in, so uh, the next video we'll be we'll be building the deck. Oh yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Not too shabby. Day's work. Three dudes doing it all by hand. A little, little bit of help from the mini, but not much because uh -huh. we we dug half of them by hand. Just because yeah. of the, the wiring for this beast. You don't want to dig into that fricker. I'm not shy of a little uh, hand work, so yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Tomorrow we got some uh, decking, got our beams going up, beams going up, crossers, crossers, and yeah, wood deck, just like this. No composite, no nothing. Yep. Basics. But yeah, we'll, uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll catch you tomorrow when we're doing a bunch of screwing. Like, comment, subscribe, we'll catch you on the next one. Bam, yeah. just like that. <laughs>